Hey there, it's Teresa Verised. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the first ever, or I shouldn't say that, but I guess I could. I was going to say the first ever island tour of Erised. However, I did do one in the past, but the island was nowhere near completed. And now I have a completed Bunny Day Island. Yes, you heard me correctly. It is the Bunny Day edition of Erised. So let me first and foremost start off this video by saying Happy Easter. I truly hope you have a wonderful, magical day. If you celebrate, if not, please just enjoy this video and know that it is Bunny Day themed. So before we get started, um, I had to keep the OG flag, first of all. Um, that's that's about it. I didn't want to change it, so yeah, we kept it. I could not find the custom code for it, but I know it is called Hogwarts Crest. So let's first start off by checking out the map, and then also if you go to my Instagram, at Teresa of Erised, I have a custom map there that I did on my own and actually what I'll do is when I'm done with this I will put it on the screen there. So for residents we have Teresa which is myself, Benny who I like to call Farmer Ben, Maxwell who has a welcome center for the campsite and an awesome shopping area, Bianca, Julian, Chai, Bluebear, Meringue, Judy, Francine, Etoile, Flurry, and Chelsea. So this is my custom map. As you can see, we got an egg hunt, a dog park, a bakery. So many great things on Erised. And you know what, y'all? Let's just let's just go explore because I'm just so excited. Also, I don't know if you saw, but my dream address is on the screen, or was on the screen. So definitely go check out Erised on your own. Alright, so first we have our little hopping entrance, which I think is so much fun. I This is like the first area that I completed on Erised, and I think it was like one of the first few days I started and I was like, all right, Bunny Day Island is has begun. Um, shortly it's going to be a Claricor. And y'all, can I just say that if I try and run through Erised right now, it is so laggy. So y'all know it it has come full circle and it is Claricor. Alrighty, so first up, let's hop over this bridge here and Check out the beach. Oh my gosh, there's Judy. Oh, is she working out? Oh, you go girl. Alrighty. So we got a cute little blanket area. A lot of my beaches are not completed or just empty because I really like the natural aesthetic of a clean beach because if people aren't going to be sitting with their stuff, it's not really realistic. All right, so if you are following along with my custom map, right here we have Benny's farmhouse. So let's go right on in and see what his house has to offer for us. All right, so when I was creating this house, I wanted it to be old time, rustic, like an old school farmhouse really I was honestly trying to be like little house on the prairie and just cram as much stuff as I could into this little one room home so we have the little kitchen area the butter churn fireplace his bed here and then just all different kinds of bits and bobbles hung on the walls and I honestly love the way that this house turned out. I think it is so cute. I could hang out in here all day. Awesome. All right, let's 
Oh, and if you haven't guessed, that's my favorite room of Benny's house. <laughs> okay, so next up on our custom map is gonna be the actual farm of Benny's. So this is something that I created and I absolutely fell in love with it. I just love the way that it turned out. I don't know what it is, but with the silo and then all of the different like flowers and things like I just I'm so happy with how this farm turned out I think it looks so cool okay so up next let's hit up the swimming pool the pool of Erised which is right back here it is at the base of my house you can see the lifeguard chair there coming up and this, I knew I wanted to put a pool on Erised. I just wasn't quite sure where I was going to put it. And I am so happy with how it turned out. I think it is so much fun. And I wish I could like be here in real life. Like look in the back there. They have like the radio and the Nintendo Switch Lite. Like that just looks so fun. And I love this view of when you pan up of my house. Like I think that is just so, so pretty. And y'all don't get me started on the mermaid fence because y'all know I love the mermaid fence. Okay, before we head over the bridge here, I just wanted to show y'all uh, Francine and Blue Bear's homes. They almost have, if I can get, oh my gosh, I'm on my own island and I'm getting stuck. Y'all, I can't, okay. <laughs> they almost have like a glamping area, which I think is like really cool because we have like the normal campsite, which we'll get there, don't y'all worry. But their homes have like a little area, but it's like, Oh, we're still camping, but we're close enough to home where if we need anything, we can just hop right back inside and grab <laughs> whatever it is that we need. So that is their little glamping area. And I love that their houses pretty much are the same except for the doors. I think that is really cool that the doors are different on these two houses. I think it really makes the whole area go really well together. Oh my gosh, look at Meringue. Oh, I love her. And she's wearing her little apron for for the bakery. Like, it doesn't get any cuter than that. Oh my goodness, she is so adorable. Oh my gosh, she's coming up here too. Okay, next up is our flower fields. So we're gonna pop behind this little uh, tree here. And this area is literally just flowers. I thought it would be such a cool little lookout for behind my house, just to have an array of all different colored flowers and everything like that. So I guess since we're here, we might as well just go right on into my house because why the heck not, right? So let's head on in. This first room is going to be the main living area and I am so proud of how it came out. I literally like this so much. So I'm gonna sit here right in the middle of the room and then I'll do like a little pan for y'all. So we have the two couches, but then like in the corner we have the guitar along with like the bookcase and I just wanted it to have it's such a big space I wanted it to be able to go have different areas of the room so I'm truly so happy with how this came out I didn't want to go like full-on bunny day on everybody on this in or in my house or any of the houses so I actually didn't but that I really am happy with how that main room came out Next up, I'm going to pretend like I don't know, but I do know, it is a kitchen. And y'all, let me just say, my goodness, I love this kitchen so very much. I just tried to cram as much items of the ironwood in here that I could, and I think it turned out so well. I'm so happy with this kitchen. I'm so proud of myself. Like, y'all, when I say I struggle with creativity, I struggle. Some things come so naturally and then others I will work on and work on and work on and it will not be right. But this kitchen, I can honestly say I am very, very happy with how it turned out. So 
So actually the next room or the back room that we're gonna be headed into, I haven't changed since I made the speed build. So this room is actually the exact same that it was when I built the speed build of the workout or the fitness center of my house. And I still love this house. I haven't changed anything, haven't really moved anything, just literally still love it. Next up, let's go to the left room, which is going to be a study slash a craft area. So I wanted to be able to have a cozy, comfy area to be able to read books, but then also work on sewing and crafts and such. So that's what this room is all about. And uh, another one, I just love the way that it turned out. I love using the green foliage and placing the little things on the walls like that bow that Teresa made while sitting at her old time sewing machine or she also has the beret there like they just look so nice and then the coconut wall planter I just love when a room has so much stuff in it and I think it looks awesome and I'm honestly like patting myself on the back I'm so so proud of this room I truly truly love it I would love to live here in real life All right, so now we have to go all the way around and next up we will go upstairs to my bedroom now my bedroom is pretty much just like a pink girly oasis <laughs> I really love this bedroom I love greens and pinks and I'm just so happy with how this one turned out as well like we have the bookshelf with the radio but then like it looks like somebody was studying on the floor and they also left like their calligraphy set on top of the fireplace over there but then we have like the desk where you can do your nails and the puzzle on the bed or on the table in front of the bed I just really truly love the way that this bedroom turned out Ugh, I just like I, I could hang out in here all day as well y'all I think I don't know though because I don't have a favorite room but I was gonna say I think I saved the best for last but honestly like this basement this was one of the first rooms that I completed like completed completed and I am so happy with how it turned out yes it is a diner and y'all this was hard to make because it was a lot to get all of these items like and then be able to place them so they could all be in the same room. Like what? It was a lot for me. But I am so happy with how it turned out. I love the diner walls. I think that really, really adds to just how much stuff looks like there, or it looks like there is in the room. I really, really like that. So y'all, sad to say, but that is my house. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Please, oh my gosh, comment down below what your favorite room is because I am always telling everybody my favorite room. I would love to know what your favorite room of my house on Erised is. So next up, we have the flower shop. So right behind my house is the flower field. And over here, we have the flower shop. And this was one thing that I knew I wanted because growing up, we always had Easter flowers at our house. So this is the stand where you can make your purchases and everything like that. So when you first enter, you enter right over here, you grab a little serving cart or a shopping cart as I like to think of it, and you can pick through all of these beautiful flowers. Now, what's a flower without a pot or a bird bath to go next to it? So next, we have all of that as well. We also have the potted cypress trees and the bigger plants in the back, or you could just pick up the seeds, which, Y'all, I thought this was really creative. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me and I'm just proud of what I made, but I really, really love this area. I think it is so unique. Okay, 
So let's go back down the ramp and we will hit the first little area right here of the fishing spot and it continues to the right so you can see more of it. But this is what I imagine to be an area where everybody would gather for the fishing tournaments in the game and there's like a scale back here where everybody would weigh their fish and see who got the biggest one but then there's also like all the bunny day stuff so it's like hey don't forget to celebrate bunny day and I really really love how this came out a lot of things like I've mentioned before was it's like a clutter core island like the more stuff I could throw down I think the better that it turned out and it looked and I'm so so happy with this area I think it is just so cute and colorful and I truly like it so let's head up over this bridge and the next villager home we're gonna hit is Chai's house and Chai is one of the Sanrio characters I honestly love her she is so cute so of course because she has a cup of coffee or a cup of tea on her head Chai has to have a cafe so if you're following along this oh look at there she is ah oh my gosh she's so cute oh my gosh she is so cute okay so if you're following her along on my custom map, this is her whole cafe. So you could purchase over there on the left and then we have like the little sitting area on the right. But then there's another sitting area on the left and then right in front of us. So this whole cafe, there's so much room to be able to go and sit and enjoy your coffee or your tea, whatever it is that you are, you are getting. Okay, so let's continue. So the next th thing that we're gonna hit is actually my resident services. So we're gonna just continue right on through resident services. Let's see, is anybody out here? Oh, there's Francine. She's working out too. How cute, everybody's working out today. All right, oh, also, if you visit via Dream Address, I laid out two different sets of outfits. So the black and the blue are gonna be two different outfits, or you can mix and match, whatever you wanna do. So up here is my Nook's Cranny. I just kept the area super simple with tons of flowers. So let's continue down here. Next up is gonna be our park. And this is honestly, oh, I'm missing also the bunny day um, attire. So this is all like the little things that you can get inside of Able Sisters, which is right up here on the right. And that's all of the outfits that you can get that are seasonal. So they have like a cute little outdoor display, almost like a little, flea market or something like that. So right here is going to be, oh, there's Chelsea, hey! <laughs> this is the park, just all like the little play areas, the sandbox, and a little sitting area there on the left, which I think turned out so cute. Oh my gosh, she's running, how precious. Okay, so on the custom map, I labeled this whole beach as amusements. So we're gonna go all the way to the left here, and I wanted to create so badly one of those like amusement park games where you like throw the darts at the balloons. So that's what this is. You can win that giant teddy, you can win that Christmas sleigh. Yes, I know Christmas or um, toy day sleigh, but I love that so much, so I had to put it there. And then, like, if the kids are playing that, then the adults can sit and have a drink on the beach with some cotton candy, more candy, bubble gum machines. Oh, and then there's teacups. This is just all of, like, your boardwalk essentials, and I just think it looks so cute. Now, next, you can't have a beach without somewhere to lay out. So yes, we have, oh, sorry, Chelsea. <laughs> we have so many different little areas to sit here on the beach and there's the sand castle. Oh my gosh, y'all look at my sea turtles. Wait, we'll go over there. I love the way that the sea turtles came out. I've seen so many people do that. And I just decided that Arised needed to have also sea turtles. So this is the little area that's blocked off so people can go swimming with the lifeguard chair, but Y'all, these sea turtles, I love them. Okay, so next up, I think the best thing to do would be go over the bridge right into the campsite area. So I had the whole campsite area blocked off. Hi, Blue Bear. 
Everybody is out in their workout clothes today. It is so silly. I love it. Okay, so like I mentioned, the campsite area is blocked off completely from the rest of the island except for this ramp. So definitely, definitely make sure you hit up the campsite area. So this is Maxwell's Welcome Center. So before we go into the campsite area, we have to stop at the Welcome Center and see what is inside there. All right, so this first room is actually gonna be a shop. And this is where you can get any essentials that you need, if you forgot something, a net, a fishing rod, literally anything and anything to do with camping that you might need, you can find in this shop here in Maxwell's house. Now, you may be thinking, well, okay, Teresa, it's the spring, so what happens if it rains on Erised when we are camping? Well, don't worry, Maxwell's Welcome Center has you covered. We have a movie theater and game room, which is this room right here. So we have all the paintball machines over there on the right, and then the TV with the movie projector, and don't forget snacks, and especially do not forget the espresso or the coffee. So that is this room for all the guests to enjoy if it is raining outside on Erised. All right, and then y'all must be thinking, um, what about a bathroom? Like, you can't have a campground without a bathroom, right? Well, actually, my house doesn't even have a bathroom, but it's fine. I'm going to work on that. But, of course, Maxwell's Welcome Center has a bathroom accompanied with changing rooms and showers. This is so cute to me. I don't know why. I just love it so much, but I I just think it turned out so well with like the cleaning supplies and everything like that. Like love this room so much. All right, so since we hit up the welcome center, we can now enter the campsite. So there's actually like one, two, three, four different campsite areas. And there's going to be two spots for campers or camper vans, which the first one is right here, accompanied with the second one. Oh my goodness, I love the way this looks so much. Like how cute is that y'all? I literally love this. But Okay, so let's head to the beach, and y'all, if y'all know me, I love to read. You can't have a camping area without books and little areas to sit and eat also. Now, next up, we have like a little marshmallow area. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then a picnic on the beach with the sushi and french fries. I don't know if that's really what it is, but that's what I say it is. So that's what that is. And then we also have the campsite right here. And like I mentioned before, there's only one way in and one way out of the campsite, which is via the bridge here, which I love. And I just think this looks so cool. Look at that little beach area back there where people can hang out and go swimming and everything like that. So next up, I think we should head back here and then we'll go to the right. And then I think the next thing that we're gonna hit is um, Etoile's house, yes. Which she has on the beach just a little sitting area, just like that first one when you come off the airport. And I just love it. It's so natural and just is right outside of her house. It's so cute. And then here we have our orchard of all of our different trees and fruits, which is so lovely. Uh, let's go up the ramp here, and before we look out over there, we're gonna head back. This is Meringue's house, and I'm gonna go back towards Meringue's bakery. And I am so proud of how this came out. It is so cute, y'all. Like, can you just, can we just take a moment and like enjoy this? How adorable. And then like Meringue walking around with her apron, I honestly, it's just like, it like breaks my heart in such a good way. Like I love it so much. And also how beautiful are all the cherry blossom trees? Like, oh, so beautiful. 
Okay, so back over there is Julian's house, and then this is his dog pool, like spectacular. This is where all the pups can come and hang out and go swimming because if we come right over here and we hop right here, look at, there is the dog park. And I wonder if I have a ladder on me. Oh, I do, okay. All right, so we can head right over here and this is like people came and brought their dogs via their bikes so they parked there we have red and we have his pirate beach we love that so much okay and let's head back this way and we will enter the dog park just to get a little bit of a better light or look on it Oh my gosh, I love it with the cones, like to practice speed and agility, the ball there to chase. I honestly, I just love, love, love this so much. Okay, so let's go and we will head right up here. And this next brings us to Judy's home, which outside her house is a juicery. So I knew that I wanted to have like a little bar area or a juice bar for Judy and that is exactly what we have here in her front yard which also is continued in the backyard and there's a fan and like the blender and the scale I just love the way this is and how cute it is I love the bright colors y'all like it's just so pretty okay so next up I'm actually gonna hop down here and just so you know if you do come to Arised there is no reason that you will need a ladder everywhere you can get or will want to be is going to be via a ramp I'm just being trying to be quick about it so this is Flurry's house there on the right and this is her little ice cream shop and I love these ice cream lamps like they are just so so precious I think they are so cute Along with the mushrooms, like the platforms, they're just so adorable. All right, so next up, let's head up here. We just have like a little sitting area here. Like if you wanted to be a little bit more comfy when you got your juice or your ice cream. So that's the left side of the fishing area there. And then that is the flower shop on the left there. Now if we head up here, this is probably one of my favorite areas of the island. We have a little sitting area with the cake, but then we have the overlook, which overlooks what other than an egg hunt? And yes, this is my Easter egg hunt of Arised for the Bunny Day Island. Now, if you want to head down there, you totally can. There actually is a little ramp right here on the right, and I will show you that right now. But y'all, like, I love the way that this turned out. I can't, like, I I can't get over it. Yeah, so the ramp is right here. If you wanna head down there, you can also go right into the museum, which I don't know if you saw it, but it's hidden right there on the back left. And this is where all the egg hunts take place and everything like that. All my villagers love it. And it's just so, so much fun. But I think y'all that we saw everything on Arised, which is like kind of sad, but at the same time, I'm so proud because I think I truly succeeded with the ultimate bunny day island. Like I mentioned before, I truly hope you have a wonderful day and a blessed holiday. but please come visit Arised on your own. I would love to see all your pictures and everything like that. So please come visit. Let me know on Instagram if you do. I am just so happy with how it turned out and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and tick the little notification bell so you always get alerted when I upload a new video. And lastly, don't forget, tag me in all your pictures if you come visit my dream address. I would love to see them and share your thoughts with me on what, how and what you think of Arisad.
But with all that being said, this is Teresa signing off. Bye!